Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to replace the thermostat of the refrigerator. This is the part. Uh, it is the thermostat. This is actually a brand with really good reviews. Um, and this part is very affordable. You can actually find it and order it on Amazon. Um, and uh, first of all, to make sure that it is that the part that you're getting is compatible with your fridge, um, you have to look up the number uh, of your model, which can be found usually inside, uh, on one of the sides of the fridge, uh, or the top side, or under the grill uh, in the bottom of the fridge, uh, all the way down there. Um, so once you find the part, um, you can go to a website called um, appliancesparts.com, I think, um, and enter the uh, model number, and then you'll find the uh, appropriate numbers for all the different parts. And you can type that on Amazon, and you're most likely to find the right part. Hashtag millennial friendly. First, you have to pull that fridge outside of its space, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but the best way to do it is just to hold both sides and sort of wiggle it towards one direction or the other, either forward, little by little, or backwards. Um, then, of course, first thing, you don't want to electrocute yourself. You are going to um, disconnect the fridge and get the job started. Okay, now that we disconnected the fridge, let's take a close look. Hmm. Let's use a smaller sized. Okay, nice catch. As you can see, we've taken care of these ones. We will still have these two babies right back here. So we're gonna get those as well. Okay, so we've unscrewed all the screws. Now let's see if we can pull this thing out now that everything's unscrewed. As you can see in this Kenmore model, these control knobs and the thing we have to pull down are attached to this side panel that connects the hose with the refrigerant to the back and then goes to the other side, which is the freezer. And there's two screws here that are keeping this from coming down a little more, so Let's take down these screws right here so we can pull this on a little further and get down and dirty with this uh, replacement of the thermostat, which is this piece right here. Okay, so as it turns out, in order to remove this thing, um, you have to snap the, the tube out of the back. And to do that, you're first supposed to um, take out this thing out by unscrewing a screw that's on the side it's a separate piece that protects the tube you'll snap it out after unscrewing this and the thing will be the capillary tube will be wrapped around the side of of this uh, area that connects to the freezer and we're gonna snap it out of there so we can replace it Okay, we've taken this thing out of the back, now we can 
um, the snap out the capillary tube. Interesting. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to straighten out the capillary tube. Boom. And take the plastic out slowly and carefully. Because you're going to put this plastic tube on the new piece, if your new piece doesn't have one already. This might just take a second. Boom! We've separated them from the old broken thermostat. We're going to take the protective tube from the new piece, which is a little bit too short because it doesn't cover the whole thing, and use the one we just took out of the old one and insert it from this tip. Whoa, whoa, make sure you don't bend it too much because otherwise the metal stick can break and then you have to get a new one and all your food will rot. job is finished.